another prop. Summer Jeremy, Summer Middle League, Limited Bowers, get a part runway 17, be VFR to the south, Summerton. So what I've done is I wanted to know exactly what this thing burned per hour at full power. Took this thing up, never pulled the power back off the firewall. It was 3170 RPM the entire time. So, and what I burned was 5.7 gallons. So that's what I'm going with, 5.7 gallons per hour at full power. Now there's a little idle time, things like that. So, but either way, 5.7 is a great number to actually plan and do all my planning with. This would be a great place to bring out a Super Cub or something fly a lot slower than this. I've tried flying with my buddy Ron before, and he's got a uh, Taylor Craft uh, L3, and uh, I'm near stall when he's a cruise. So maybe uh, me and him come out here and go play a little bit. Who knows? So it's time for this camera not to get anything, and that camera to get an amazing view. Just an 
amazing view. I was gonna might just get up and go fly, go, go take off, fly up the river a little bit, around Picacho Peak, and then head back to Yuma. It makes her a really, just kind of a leisurely little morning flight. Get the bugs worked out, gets me a you know, chance to practice out, you know, holding altitude, flying, you know, flying dead reckoning, or flying a course across, you know, flying a, you know, flying a trail, flying the river, flying a road, so. Kind of just a good overall practice. For the use watching, uh, they want to know a little more about the Corvair motor. So, uh, just give you an idea where I'm at. Today was a little, was a really nice morning. I'm not gonna lie, it was an amazing morning. Uh, right now, it's probably only 80 degrees outside. Now, for most people in the country, 80 degrees is like, oh my gosh, that's a hot day. For us, that is an amazingly cool day in the summertime. So, like today, this afternoon, it's supposed to be about 110 degrees outside. So, 80 feels amazing. With that being said, this morning when I got up, um, I did this whole climb and the highest uh, oil temperature I saw, which is actually right now, is 216 degrees. Also, right now, my EGT, which if I'm going to show you guys, a little, might as well take a video of this right now. But if you see, really good numbers across here, even to over here. So you see, I'm seeing those numbers here and just amazingly good CHTs as well. Might be hard to see this on this amount of between 11 and 12, but that gives me a really good indication there. So, I'm really, really liking this GRT EFIS. So I'm getting you know, the synthetic vision, the moving map, the ADSBN, engine monitoring. And I don't have full comprehensive engine monitoring because I didn't spend the extra 1400, but it does a really good job. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with it, especially for the price. It's been actually, uh, overall, a really good system for me. Hack 70 Mike, traffic 11 o'clock, 10 miles uh, southbound maneuvering. It's an experimental 3,200. Looking for that traffic. That's Mike. Experimental 8 Lima November, traffic 11 o'clock, 10 miles northbound to Kazi, 3,300 Skyhawk. Roger, I'll be looking for the traffic. I do have on ADSB. Uh, can you give me the current altimeter? Jim altimeter 2979. 2979, 8 Lima November. If you like this video, like, subscribe, follow along. Uh, just enjoy me flying this thing. It's uh, been a blast. Uh, hopefully, I uh, should uh, look working with a buddy of mine. We might do a really cool trip here in a little bit. Uh, but COVID-19 has definitely made it uh, more difficult for us to get uh, trips like that done. So for all of you who are uh, enjoying watching this, seeing this, uh, me fly the Corvair, I'll see you next time. Bye.